Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 119 to 120. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. They're in a meeting. Better be safe than sorry. We can't risk having Chief Sinclair raising an army for the right hand unbeknownst to us. I never tr quite trust Chief Sinclair, and it seems more and more like I've been right to. All those years with so few progress on the Phantom Scythe, surely someone must be throwing sand on the wheels from within the APD. And who'd we be, be better placed for this than the Chief himself? Especially with the help of his lover, so conveniently high-ranked in the government. Someone my husband blindly trusts, unfortunately. They were practically raised together, and he's been right hand for longer than Philip has been crowned. Rizmel despised King Edward. Just like he despises our ways. I've called it before. Rimswell and St. Clair are our two best suspects for the leader. I am glad that we all agree. Hopefully, I will bring my husband to see clear as well. Neither of them can be trusted. In the meantime, you know what to do. Bye, Master. Mm. So they think them two are the leaders? Oh. Nera? Oh. Nera? You found me. It's my turn to hide now. Purple Hyson, episode 119. And that's how their meet meeting ended. I see. Thank you for your report, Lady Darcy. Their paranoia grows. I never thought they'll come to suspect you too, Tristan. It isn't that surprising. We all are. We are all scared. I better get going before they notice my absence at the castle. Of course. Many thanks, Neira. Your help is precious to us. Be careful. Of course. Come. I need to show you something. Lauren baked custard croissant with a maid's help and you help and hope you'll feel better. She left them here before leaving tonight. They weren't kidding about the increased measures. I haven't been here since that night. The future, although it appears solid, the tower has been built on unstable mistruths and delusions. The world as you know, it will come crashing down before you. Stricken by the lightning bolt of truth, there is no escape from this destruction. And then the reason, a betrayal, a painful, unexpected, but inevitable ending. Someone around you has or will stab you in the back. <laughs> well, you cannot change their actions. You have power over your response to it. The final card, the potential outcome. 
death. <laughs> Inevitable, but death isn't just about life ending. It's about new beginnings, too. The old needs to die for the new to come, be it for better or worse. Should I go back to see her? I can't shake the feelings she knows things somehow. <sighs> well, he's blowing bubbles. <laughs> Feeling well enough for this, detective? Our maid Lucy got scared that I died in my sleep and woke me up. My left arm is still a little weak, but I'm much better, honestly. What about you? Just as good as new. Slept about three hours. Should be enough for the rest of this week. I don't know if I should envy or pity the fact that you're speaking the truth. What did you do last night? Now, wouldn't you want to know, detec detective? I read that wrong. Whatever. You did probably didn't last long considering your current physical state. Stick around next time and find out. <laughs> Her face is like, whatever. You're investigating, right? Yes, and I've got bad news. Fantastic. First one being that... It's dress-up time. Again? Dress-up time? <laughs> Purple Heisa. Episode 120. Is that really necessary? We're, we're, we're here to look for the messenger. If he really is on one of the Pantheon me members, he's not going to be hanging out on this side of the carnival. We have to get to their car caravans in the back, in the back, and they've got security guards. Gotta blend in. Come on, the costumes I've stolen are so cute. Fine. <sighs> so it is excluded that the messenger could be a retired Pantheon performer. But within the current crew, we have at least three suspects, right? Right? If I re remember correctly, the pianist had a tattoo on his wrist. But the aerialist and acrobat wrist were covered during the show. All of similar heights that could fit the messengers. I think that's all our suspects for now. Well, while we're, we're on our little recovery holiday, I didn't resist the temptation to stalk them a little. Zypher and Orpheus were pretty uninteresting. I frankly doubt they're the man we're looking for. Which leaves us to Apollo, the pianist for tonight. Raphael. He's William's brother. Oh, he's back. Oh, really? I didn't even know he had one. What a noble born guy doing in a circus. No idea. We'll never talk. Will never talks about him. Raphael left the city without any warning or explanation right before the Allendale train station tragedy. I've always suspected it was because of their father and his crushing expectations. Raphael never gave any sign of life ever since. It was very hard on Will, and I think it is worse now. Knowing that his brother's been here for a while. I see. He must have felt abandoned. I suppose this explains that. What do you mean? William's always wearing a mask, isn't he? He's a golden boy, promoted lieutenant by 23, impecc impeccable track record. He's the most caring when it comes to others. Yet, 
he never speaks about himself. I'm painting you the picture of a prodigy whose father's expectations all fell on him after his brother left. That's right. The walls he's built around him are so thick even I can't even get through sometimes. That's very observant of you, though. Wearing a mask is not a concept I am estranged to. Neither are you. True. I think we're looking pretty good. They do look good in that. Of all the costume you should have could have stolen, did you really have to get the tutu one? Oh. Why are you complaining? It looks absolutely adorable on you. <laughs> he did it on purpose. Shut it. Hold up. Finishing touches. Face paint. Huh? Stay still. That looks intimate. Mm -hmm. So if you told me one bad news, what are the other ones? I stumbled upon a ba belladonna a few days ago. She got rid of the old pawns, but they got new friends to run their operations, it seems. I saw in the newspapers Vera Lloyd was killed a few nights ago. Belladonna managed to get her while she was locked in an interrogation room. She is dreadfully good at her job. Other victims because of us. Why don't we just report her to, to the police? Two known heads of the operation just slipped through our fingers because of her. So it seems her usefulness might have run out. It's more complicated than that. How so? It's mostly selfish. We have a sort of pact, if you will. She's not to report my doings if I don't either. We agreed not to mess with each other. Okay, done. But if I am the one to report her, but if I am the one to report her, you know who directly gave you everything you know about her. And when you lead a life such as yours, you need to abide by strong rules and never let go of them. I'm not the best to talk about morals, but I would not compromise my word. I see. You've known each other for a long time. We trained together, became killing machines together. She used to be the closest thing I had to a friend for a while. But I do believe she's still more useful to us free than behind bars. Okay, let's go. Here, take your mask. So, packed or not, should I worry about being stabbed by a snake da dagger tight? She's on a mission, so I priori... Not here. Priori? Needless to say, you see a flock of pink hair. Hi. Hi. Evening, sir. Well, that was easy. See? Told you the tutu was absolutely necessary. Ugh. Kieran. Let's follow him. Damn it. Where did he go? And on the count of three, your inner child shall be free. One, two, three. Oh my god, it's final. Nope. It's your 35th successful failed attempt, Morpheus. Oh, why doesn't this work? I've been rehearsing this all day. Where did he go? Found him. Over there. S -s you! <gasps> Don't move. 
Oh man. What's gonna happen? Did they get caught? I feel like for me, okay? For me, I think he, they're not in trouble. I think he just wants someone to come so he can practice his magic trick or whatever on them. But I don't think like, they're in trouble. But who knows? All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'm going to take a quick nap before I continue to the next read. Bye, guys.